Going on, Jerome's. So, off the bye week, Tan Rest is ready to go. And the major question surrounding the Minnesota Fighting Vikings uh, isn't will Justin Jefferson return? It probably will. Uh, will the defense continue to be elite? But no. The numero uno question is who is going to start under center against the Las Vegas Raiders and probably the rest of the season? Is it going to be Josh Dobbs, the passionate? Is it going to be the veteran backup, Nick Mullins? Uh, or is it going to be rookie Jaron Hall? Uh, so we put it out to you. The people poll results. Uh, 5,100 Jerome's voted, uh, and we, we asked specifically who is going to start a Sunday against the Raiders, not who should, in your opinion, who is going to. And a bit of a split. Uh, Dobbs got 40% of the vote. Uh, Jaron Hall, the rookie, got 48%, and Nick Mullins uh, in the rear with the gear uh, with 12%. And you know, Kevin O'Connell's been pretty coy about uh, what's going to go down, and I, I honestly think that he. I think it truly is a three-horse race uh, because th there's a lot of things to factor in. Number one, uh, Josh Dobbs, his highs were amazing. Uh, don't, don't get me wrong. Uh, but also his lows were not, not so good. Uh, again, all the hype. Uh, you know, basically, we have Lynn Sanity. Basically, we have Tebow mania going on here. Uh, and, yeah, he, he was a big reason why the Vikings won the Falcons game and big reason why, well, he looked really good the first half of the Saints game. Mm, all, all, all that stuff. But, I mean, Dobbs has had eight turnovers, uh, five interceptions, three fumbles uh, in four games, which is just can't do that, man. Especially turnovers was the reason why the Vikings lost to the Bears and the reason why the Vikings lost to the Broncos. Can't can't have it, man. Uh, but you could see the logic uh, with, with Josh Dobbs. It would be like, okay, Dobbs wasn't in Cabo like all the other uh, jabronis, but uh, he, I'm sure, was in the facility working on the playbook, all that stuff, and he's going to be even more comfortable in, uh, in the offense. And if he takes care of the football, sure. And also his running ability – does set him apart from the other two, even though Jaron Hall can move a little bit. And it is a, a weapon, even though Kevin O'Connell basically didn't use that weapon uh, against the Bears or, to a degree, the Broncos, right? So you do have to factor that in. And maybe it is Josh Dobbs on a short leash where it's like, hey, take care of the football, otherwise you're going to be replaced sort of situation. Nick Mullins is an interesting case because I, I think for, for us, the fans, like Nick Mullins would be the third choice, right? Because Nick Mullins... I mean, he, he's not as sexy as Josh Dobbs. Uh, he, he doesn't have the future upside of Jaron Hall. Uh, but Mullins, I mean, has been a, a decent spot starter uh, throughout his NFL career uh, with the Niners, with the Raiders, as well as with the Browns. And, you know, Mullins, he, he's not the veteran backup who's just going to take care of the football and check it down like Nick Mullins. I mean, Nick Mullins went to Southern Miss. Like he 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 grew up, uh, you know, watching Bert Favor. Right, so he he will sling it, and maybe that's a demerit against him. But it is noteworthy that he was uh, QB two until the Vikings broke training camp uh, behind Kirk Cousins ahead of rookie Jaron Hall. And then you do have Jaron Hall. And, yeah, I mean, this one for the fans would be fantastic if Jaron Hall came in these last five games and playoffs, proved that he's a little something-something. Uh, maybe he throws his hat in the ring as potential quarterback of the future. Uh, like his mobility, like his arm strength, like that he does take care of the football. And overall, like, he is a really solid pick. Uh, I think that he is a, a pretty damn solid choice. And he has been in the offense a lot longer than Josh Dobbs. He was in it all rookie camp, all training camp, all off season, all preseason, all regular season. And after Nick Mullins went on IR, he was QB two behind Kirk Cousins. He was one play away. Uh, and Jaron Hall did look really damn good that second drive against the Falcons. Like that drive is just going to haunt our dreams forever. Uh, and looking at their career numbers, I mean, so you know, it's weird. So Dobbs has been in the league since 2017. He's only started 13 career games, and most of them have been this year. I uh, had that one win, win with the Cardinals against the Cowboys, hmm. uh, and also he's technically one and two with the Vikings. Although we'll give him two and two, even though Jaron Hall technically started the Falcons game. Just funny. Uh, career 63 percent completion percentage. Uh, doesn't even have three 3K passing yards yet. Hmm. Uh, 15 touchdowns, 13 picks, uh, uh, six yards per attempt. Where it, it's a bit weird and, and a bit befuddling. Where Dobbs, he just doesn't sling it. I don't know what it is. And you saw against the Bears the design deep shots with Addison where it's just like Kevin O'Connell is just trying to force him to throw downfield. And, uh, you know, Kevin uh, uh, Justin Jefferson being back in the lineup, uh, hopefully Kevin O'Connell can scheme something up if it is indeed Dobbs. Uh, but also what sets him apart is the running. All right? So he's the second highest uh, rushing quarterback in the league this year behind Lamar Jackson. Uh, 475 career on the ground, six career rushing touchdowns. There you go. Nick Mullins has started 17 career games. Like we said, he's actually started a decent amount of games. Now, 
They weren't all good, uh, although hashtag QB wins, that, that old thing. But he's 5-12 and 12 as a starter, uh, complete about two-thirds of his passes, uh, just over 5,000 yards passing. And like we said, he's not a – just take care of the football, check it down, Trevor Simeon type veteran backup. No, Nick Mullins is going to sling it, man. 27 touchdowns, 23 picks, a 7.8 yards per attempt, uh, which is pretty damn good. Uh, 88 quarterback rating and negative three rushing yards. Like, he's not about that running life, man. And then you got Jaron Hall. So, again, most of this was off Jaron Hall's second drive against the Falcons. I will remember you. Uh, should have had that rushing touchdown, and also Andy had uh, Jaron Hall as the first time uh, as the first touchdown scorer at like twenty to one. Not that I remember, or I'm scarred. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, but yeah, it's coming back from that concussion, and I, I really do think that it is a, a three way race right now. I, I think that it truly is a toss up, but whatever they decide, because. Uh, you know, the Vikings will be back at the facility today. Game planning will be on Tuesday. First practice will be on Wednesday, install day. And whatever Kevin O'Connell decides, like, don't be coy about it. Don't be, be splitting reps. Don't try and be cute. Whoever you pick is the guy. Uh, he gets all of the first team reps. And also, he is the guy for the rest of the season. I think that's what it should be. And let the die be cast. And, you know, wh- whatever happens, happens at that, this point. But if I. If I was a wagering person, hmm, I would probably say, I would probably say that it's Dobbs. And yeah, I, I, of course, I did just say that if he's going to be the guy, he has to be the guy next five games. But with the caveat with Dobbs, I, I think that it could be Dobbs, but with an asterisk. I think it could be Dobbs, but with a short hook. Like if Dobbs continues to just turn the ball over and fumble it. I think that he could get the hook, and then I think it could be Nick Mullins. Like, I, I probably don't think it's going to be Jaron Hall, even though me as a fan would like to see it. I think that the kid does have something. Uh, but, you know, Kevin O'Connell and the Vikings, 6-6, six and six, so fly, fighting for the playoff lives. You know, obviously, they see that they can make a run at this thing and probably will trust the veterans at, at this point. And I think that the tie, I mean, because, you know, Nick Mullins turns the ball over too, uh, it, it, the tie would go to uh, Josh Dobbs because of that running ability. As of right now. And if he takes care of the football, and hopefully Kevin O'Connell and Wes Phillips got together over the bye week and realized, like, hey, we have to utilize what makes Josh Dobbs the most dangerous is that his legs. They got they got to utilize it. Where where's the RPOs? Where's the read options? Where's the where's that where's the half boots and the rollouts? Where is all of that? I mean, if you did any of that, you beat the Bears very easily, very handily. But. Is what it is. Uh, anyways, uh, who will start at quarterback for the Vikings? Uh, question mark. It's main question of the week. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.